everybody, today I want to draw some flowers, specifically daisies. They are one of my favorite flowers, and I've been seeing a lot of them on Pinterest, so I thought I would just draw them. I don't really have a plan for this, I'm kind of just going to figure it out as I go, but feel free to draw along with me. I've got my sketchbook here, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and let's just get right into the video. So I just jumped right into the sketch, and I originally thought I was going to do two three flowers but it just looked kind of awkward so I added two more all in kind of different positions. I kind of just had a reference of like a flower field and I was just choosing a few flowers to draw from it. So yes I was kind of just making it up as I went but then I started coloring and they are white flowers so I wasn't exactly adding a bunch of color to the petals but I added some gray and on the first one I definitely went way too heavy with the gray which I fixed in the later ones. But I added also a yellow inside and I used like a little bit of green and yellow just to make it look like more interesting and realistic. But yeah, it was a pretty repetitive process of just adding the gray and then the yellow. And so after the first one, I learned my lesson to go lighter with the gray. And so yeah, before I put the background, you can't really see the petals. It just kind of looks like some gray coloring. But once I do add the background, you will be able to see them. And in case you're wondering why I'm using the white, it's just to add like a texture to the paper so that it doesn't look like it was just like plain white paper and also to blend out the gray a bit. And it was also helpful to mark out where the petal ends because I erased the pencil lines before I do the background. So yeah, here you can see I'm just finishing up the last flower. This one was kind of like curved inwards just to add something a little bit different. But then I started on the stems and leaves so I just chose this nice green color. So I just made these thin little stalks that connect into one stem at the bottom. And then I also drew some leaves that I just added a bit of dimension to. And I'm gonna be honest, these weren't looking exactly how I wanted them to look or how I envisioned them to, but I just kept going and I think the background definitely does help. But yeah, this was a very long and tedious process, especially going around all the petals, but it is pretty satisfying to watch. So while you are watching it, I'm going to be reading you some facts about daisies. First of all, daisies grow almost everywhere because they can thrive in both wet and dry climates. So that's pretty cool. Their name actually stands for Day's Eye because they close at night and open in the morning. So they're first to see the sun. The more you think about that, the creepier it gets. You can actually eat daisies because they're pretty closely related to artichokes. Though you probably shouldn't go around and just eat daisies that you find in your backyard. Daisies are actually the birth month flower for April. So yes, if you're an April birthday, you can eat your flower. Okay, I think that's enough of those. Back to the drawing. Once I had finished the background, I went around kind of like the flowers and the stems and making it a bit darker to make them stand out a bit more because I feel like they were still blending into the background. And my hand was literally dying after this. It was so much coloring and adding the pressure on top made it so annoying, but I got through it. And after all of that, I still felt like it was missing something, so I went in with a dark brown colored pencil and just added like a loose outline, making sure not to outline like every single part, but just a few parts of the petals, just so that they'd actually stand out. And I'm so glad I did this because I think it helped a lot and it just kind of made it look more complete and more like I envisioned it to. And side note, I did actually want to draw like two pages of flowers, but as you can imagine, this did take a lot of my time, so I only had time for one. But I do think it was definitely worth it. And to finish everything off, I just swatched all the colors at the top and in a very satisfying order. Just to add something to the page and show all the colors I used. But after that, this drawing was finally done. Okay, so here is how the finished product turned out. Although it's not exactly how I imagined it to turn out, I still do like it and I think it looks really cute and aesthetic. It's actually growing on me and I'm happy that I made this and that I just drew what I wanted to draw even though it didn't turn out exactly how I pictured it. And I'm definitely happy with my choice of colored pencils because I think it just gives it like a nice texture and feel. I hope you like drawing along with me or just watching and yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!